the Philippines, Western Visaya stands out as an agritourism destination with the captivating islands of Boracay and Guimaras as among its major tourist attractions. Boracay, world famous as a top destination for relaxation, tranquility, and social nightlife, is poster perfect for its powdery white sand beaches and crystal clear waters. In 2013, some 1.363 million visitors experienced Boracay. The number has already reached 1.354 million in the first 11 months of this year. It is expected that the number will increase significantly in December, where tourist arrivals is at its peak. Enchanting Guimaras, on the other hand, is an agricultural paradise with mangoes as its proud world-class brand. In addition, the island is an exploration attraction with its rolling hills, verdant forests, shore caves, and islet hopping challenge drawing awe and wonder from travelers all over. In 2013, visitor arrival in Guimaras continued to increase, which helped stimulate the economic activity in the island province, opening more opportunities to local workers due to increasing demand for products and services. Now, Boracay's and Kimara's fascinating beauty have been made more alluring and more fun with the declaration by the Department of Labor and Employment of the region's twin tourist draws as labor loss compliant tourist destinations. Why Labor Loss Compliant Tourist Destinations? The DOLE, in its thrust to improve private establishments' compliance with labor laws and to foster voluntary compliance as a corporate culture or way of life, had shifted its focus on labor laws enforcement from purely regulatory to a combination of both regulatory and developmental approaches. This approach is called the Labor Loss Compliance System or LLCS, the first of its kind in the world according to the International Labor Organization. The developmental approach is broad and holistic. It combines awareness raising, incentives for compliance, enhancement of plant level partnership, such as productivity improvement for medium-small micro-enterprises and a joint tripartite-based assessment and certification process. Under this system, labor inspectors are no longer called as such but as labor loss compliance officers or LLCOs who are tasked to assess companies' compliance with general labor standards and occupational safety and health standards in partnership with employers and workers' representatives. The LLCS ends an era when labor inspectors are considered as police officers who only looked for companies' deficiencies and delight purely in enforcing the labor laws. With the new system, LLCOs along with workers and employers conduct a joint assessment of the establishment's compliance with all labor laws. The DOLE, through its regional directors, awards the establishment a two-year Certificate of Compliance or COC if found compliant. If there are gaps or deficiencies, the DOLE assists the company to enable it to comply through corrective actions. The COC is awarded once the establishment is able to comply. This is what the DOLE has done in Boracay. This is what it has done in Guimaras. Half the number of establishments in Boracay are family managed, while the other half which have been subjected to joint assessment are large and medium, small and micro enterprises or MSMEs. Those found compliant with the general labor standards and occupational safety and health standards were issued the COCs 
while those found with some deficiencies were assisted to comply with the standards. After complying with the noted deficiencies, they were issued the COCs. Likewise, majority of establishments in Guimaras are family-managed like in Boracay, while the rest are MSMEs. No large enterprise exists in the area. These MSMEs have been subjected to joint assessment. Those found compliant with the general labor standards and occupational safety and health standards were issued the COCs, while those found with some deficiencies were assisted to comply with the standards. After complying, the same were issued the COCs. The islands of Boracay and Guimaras have also been the recipients of the P2P or Peer to Port project, a convergence program of the local government units, national government agencies, and the private sector, which focuses in improving the quality of services of all key players in the tourism supply chain loop through the error-free service program of the DOLE and WPC. Considering that all establishments in Boracay and Guimaras, which have been subjected to joint assessment, have already been found compliant with general labor standards and occupational safety and health standards, the DOLE, through Secretary Rosalinda Dimapiles Baldoz, declared Guimaras on November 17, 2014 and Boracay on November 18, 2014 as labor laws compliant tourist destinations. Ngayon, bayaan niyo po talaga na uh, ipagsigawan ko po na talagang ang Region 6 po ang pinakauna pong rehiyon na nagtala po sa kasaysayan ng labor law, compliance system, na kung saan hindi lang po establishment ang idinideclare na compliant kundi po tulad nga po kahapon yung buong probinsya po ng Gimaras. At ngayon po ay nandito kami para po i-declare na ito pong Boracay is a labor law compliant tourist destination. So, when you visit Boracay at Gimara, you will not only get fascinated by their alluring natural beauty, you will also be certain that this establishment that offer their work class products and services to you are all labor laws compliant.